our hose part and it's almost ready now to be set up as flexible. Edit, Setup, Flexibility, where we're going to add some dimensions. One guy is this one. Control key down, pick another. Throws those in. We'll pick this one as well. And then we'll grab this one too. We'll call that one twist. So that sets up our numbers, but you know these are really hard to read. So what we'll do first, before we go any further, is pick up this one, go to properties, and specify that it's going to be called length. And this one, right click properties. This one's going to be called ANG, um, maybe end one. Let's specify this one. Right click properties. Call that maybe twist. And then one more. Properties. NG and 2. Why does that matter? Well, if I go to Edit and Setup and go back to my flexibility, you'll see now I've got nice names. They'll help me understand what it is that I need to do. Okay, so now I've got a new part called Part 3 to be added to my assembly. Go back to the assembly. Add a part. In session, we'll go and grab part three. Now, it'll first ask you, do you want to set it up as a flexibility? Now, I find to add the flexibility after it's assembled better. So, let's just say no now, and we'll add some placement constraints. First one I'm going to add is from the endpoint to the endpoint. That's going to line those up then the planes. Remember that construction plane we set up? We'll use that one as well as the main plane from the part. Control and alternate and the middle mouse allows me to spin this thing down bring it to a close proximity where I'm going to add the third constraint. New constraint from this endpoint onto that edge call that done. This is now fully assembled and now we're going to add the flexibility. Pick the part, right click, make flexible and there's the, there's the length. Specify curve length, this curve, middle mouse, angle, angle N1 is going to be between this curve and that curve and there's our angle. An angle now for the twist is going to be the angle between this plane and this plane. Now this is where it gets a little bit tricky. There are actually three different angles between a pair of planes. So if you go down to the uh, to the toggle here you see this that's 28.9 or so there's 151 and 208 which one of these is correct well gosh but I know it's one of them let's try the 28 to start and then the last one angle between this curve and that curve and we want the small of the two numbers that one Call that done. And there's our part. Flexible hoses. So now you can set up your part as a hose, a part, and apply it in multiple places in your assembly. You could even have a family table of hoses where you can fix the length of the hose itself, whereas the 
flexibility parameter adjusts for the variances in the distance. Well, I hope this made a little bit of sense to you. I know uh, it kind of buzzed along pretty quick, but at the same time, I found it very interesting myself to work through this. Again, my name is Leo Green. Thanks for your attention here, and hope to see you again at another installment of PTC Express Video Tip of the Month. So long now.